because you don't even understand. I'm freaking out. <laughs> There's a fucking roach in this box over here. And I don't know what to do. So I'm freaking out. I called an exterminator, but it's like $300 to do that. And I'm staying in this apartment for like two more days. So why would I pay $300 for that? Not happening because my bed is on the floor. Like I have a mattress on the floor. That shit crawled up on me. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So yeah, I'm gonna pack up all my shit today. Stay in a hotel for two nights, I guess. What is it? Wednesday? Wednesday and Thursday night. Then I come back here Friday, maybe, and then the movers come. I can't believe this just happened. I can't believe it. I'm literally traumatized. I can't even think about it. And I don't know what to do because it's just chilling in here. Like, I feel like you don't really know what this is like unless you live in New York and have experienced this. I've experienced one other roach horror story, but it crawled up on my boyfriend, not me. But now I know how he feels because that was so fucking scary. Oh my god, literally the worst feeling in the world. I literally thought it was like my hair, like tickling me. No, it's a fucking huge roach this fucking big on me. Like I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm super, super, super stressed. Not stressed. I'm freaking out. I literally don't know what to do. And nobody will fucking help me move this box out into the hallway and deal with this. I just need some moral support. I'm just scared it's gonna fucking crawl out on me. Ew, it's so fucking gross. I don't want to do it. I don't know what to do. Cry. Okay, update guys. My friend Jack came and he fucking killed the roach. Guys, you don't understand. I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I had like a photo to show you guys. He, li he even said, he's like, that's the biggest fucking roach I've ever seen in my life. Like that shit was like a mama or a papa or like had just eaten a fucking fat ass meal. That shit was huge. Like this big. Oh, literally fucking disgusting. Anyway, yeah, he squashed it with my dock and now my cute Adidas track jacket is fucking ruined, but you know what, it's worth it. Devin's coming and we're gonna go meet Claire at our hotel and go swim and relax in the pool because fuck that shit, fuck that shit. Change of plans, we're at egg shop. Claire's here. Claire's had a rough day. Um, or rough couple days. I think we all have. Um, yeah, I got coffee. Okay, everyone, um, we're walking back because I need to change out of these pants. Did you tell them about the car? Yeah, I literally. 
literally, there's a clip. I literally <laughs> bawling my eyes out. I'm like, guys, like you don't understand. Ruby texted me this morning, and I swear I never had a worse laugh attack in my life. I was yelling. I was like trying to catch her air. I was like, <laughs> this is so funny. No, it was not funny. It was literally fucking horrible. I actually can't. Everyone's gonna be like. Oh my god, you're being no, so but dramatic, but you don't understand this thing. Yeah, Imagine a cockroach this big on your chest. Like you're just peacefully reading and then you see a fucking cockroach on Wait, your chest. you were just reading? I was reading. So you weren't up. You just, you, like I thought you just woke up and then it was there. No. Oh, I was worse. I was reading and then I feel a hair. I think it's a hair, but it's not a hair. It's a fucking cockroach. Oh my god, it's so itchy. <laughs> Okay, hey guys, I know I'm fucking crazy and I barely vlog today, but I'm at a hotel because I am scared of cockroaches. Guys, you don't even understand. I've said that a million times, but you truly do not understand how fucking traumatizing that was. Um, yeah, so I got these shorts today from Kith. They're just like basketball shorts, Jordan basketball shorts. Staying at the Indigo Hotel on Ludlow. My friend stayed here last night and she said it was good, so I just was like, I just need somewhere clean. I didn't have AC, it's cold AC. Oh my God, I'm just so, I, this was worth it. You know, I've been working hard. I treated myself to two nights in a hotel and I am, I don't regret a second of it. I mean, we just got here. But yeah, also I got this package from Ami Paris and they sent me this cute little towel and this hat, which I feel like my boyfriend will wear more than I will, but you know, thank you. And cute little dust bags. Um, yeah, so that came today. I also got these cute rings from this company, Naomi Yomi. Nao I don't know how to say it, but. Okay, this orange one a little gem and then I got another one too I don't know where it went it was like a flower maybe it's in my bag this one it's like a flower super cute a little look good with my nails but my nail broke today so I'm gonna try and get it done on Friday basically the situation is on Friday I get my place back in but I can't actually like move in until like the evening and my boyfriend also gets back in the evening so I'm super excited I have movers coming at 9 to Lucy's so I have to go back on Friday to Lucy's, meet the movers. The movers are gonna take my like boxes and my mattress, bring them to my place, other place in Brooklyn. And then I'm just gonna have to leave the shit in the hallway. The people said it was okay. I'm just like, I get nervous about this stuff because I don't like causing issues. And I feel like it's just like, it's gonna be there all day. And then in the meantime, while I'm waiting to be able to check in, I'm gonna go try and get my nails done. Maybe sit at a cafe and also set up for the pop-up shop this weekend. Not pop-up, sorry, closet sale. Yeah, it's fucking disgustingly hot outside today. Me, Dev, and Lydia walked around and did a little bit of shopping. I'll show you guys. I got a bathing suit as well. And I got a pair of Dickies for $30. And they're like perfect baggy. I ordered some food because they don't have room service here. So I ordered some pasta because I'm super hungry. I haven't eaten very much. All I had was like bagel and so I'm starving. I feel like the heat makes me so much more hungry so I literally ordered two pastas. I feel like, does anybody else when they're like super hungry just like their stomach's like way, or their eyes are way bigger than their stomach or whatever. So I just like always order way too much but I'm also the type of person I like having like a bite of everything, you know? So I'm excited. And I just picked up some coconut water and some watermelon to tie me over. But yeah, I'm really happy. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna chill in here for the rest of the night because I wanna just enjoy this hotel. It's too hot out there. And I'm gonna just, you know, watch some Desperate Housewives. I need to do emails. Today's been the most hectic day and I haven't had time to do anything I wanted to do. So I'm gonna do all that. And then tomorrow, um, I don't know what the plan is, but I'm probably going to I'm just enjoying my hotel bed. I love staying in hotels. I don't stay in hotels enough. Um, I'm super excited to be staying. We're staying at two different hotels in LA. So I'm excited. I'm still debating whether or not I should just come home with Luca or I should stay. I don't know. I get like easily, I don't know. If I'm not in my routine for 
too, like if I get out of my routine for too long, I go kind of crazy. So I feel like if I stay more than a week, I might just like lose it. Cause I don't, I don't know. But yeah, we'll see, keep you updated. I'll give you a little hotel tour if you guys are interested in staying here. Um, it's in a really great area, Lower East Side. So much good food, bars around here. This is the bed, whatever, little TV, desk area. There's like a little bar and stuff down there. Then over here is the bathroom. The bathroom's actually pretty sick. Full length mirror. And then lots of mirrors here. Shower, I'm gonna shower tonight too. And then I think this is a closet. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using that. There's a safe down there. But overall, it's a pretty nice room. It's like 100 a night, I feel. 120, 150, I guess depends. I don't really remember. But I like it. Great location. Yeah, I would recommend. I would totally stay here again. Don't have room service. Oh, and they have a pool which is sick, but I think it's supposed to rain the next two days, so I'm like, I don't even really get to use it, but they do have a pool, so yeah. Okay guys, these are the two pastas I got. This is uh, vodka sauce, except it doesn't really look like it. It looks a little chunky, and this is macaroni. I haven't tried this one, but this one's fire. It's pretty heavy though. Also, what does that mean? Why is my computer doing that? Hi guys, so this is like the 17th time I've cried today. I showered, I'm in my hotel room. I spilled a glass all over the floor. Some nice man came and cleaned it up. I'm having a rough time. I'm very stressed. <sighs> Good night, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. In my hotel. Oh my god, I feel so lavish. I slept amazing, honestly. And I'm not even mad about how my hair dried. If anyone's wondering, this is my natural hair. It's actually pretty wavy today. That shower was like the best shower I've ever taken ever. I don't know what about it. I think the temperature was just perfect. I was like sore. So it just really hit the spot. It's like 7 a.m. I got up at like 6.30 because I had to pee. So I was just on my phone. I hate that. I hate that. But like technically this is like a vacation because I'm in a hotel. So I allowed it. But I hate that. I don't like going on my phone first thing in the morning. I'm going to go across the street because there's a coffee shop that opened at 7. And get, I think I'm going to get two coffees just so I have them here. I want to get a bunch of work done this morning. I want to film a TikTok slash reel. I want to take an Insta. I need to send out emails. I just have a ton of work to do, and I didn't do it yesterday. I wanted to do it. I still I want to read, and I want to do my little workout videos because I didn't do them yesterday because of the whole cockroach situation. So I'm going to do those today. Probably meet up with my friends later. But I just want to try and get a lot of work done to make up for the last. So yeah, I'm going to go get coffee. Let's go. Okay, I just threw on these jeans that I got on Depop with their Levi's, my Docs, and this baby tee, which I also got on Depop. Yeah, and I'm just going to run over it with my bag. And I'm not going to put on makeup, even though I'm going to when I film. But I'm going to read and do my workout and emails before because the sun isn't really out yet, so, yeah. Okay, I just got back. I went to Ludlow Coffee Supply. I was literally right across the street, so I got two coffees. They didn't really have any pastries I wanted, so I'm like a scone girl. I'm just going to put that there. Like I was saying, I'm like a scone girl. What the this and they only had croissants and I'm just like don't feel like a croissant right now so I'm gonna wait I don't know I feel like fruit or like a smoothie it's like more substance but we'll see I'm not super hungry right now so I had like like I said you saw like two things of pasta last night verdict the macaroni was much better than 
the vodka sauce. That one was like pretty shit, honestly. But now I'm going to read a little bit because yesterday I was interrupted by my little friend. But yeah, I'm just gonna read. I started Murakami Norwegian Wood and I put it on my story and already so many people have been like so good. So it's pretty good so far. It's definitely like, you can tell like, like he's a very talented writer. Like his words like kind of just flow and like you don't need to think and like reread the sentence or anything. Like they just flow so nicely and like I feel like it's just a very calming read. So yeah, I'm gonna read. I just wanna pause here to emphasize that I'm, this is basically a reenaction of, of my attack yesterday. So I'm literally reading like this. I literally was on this page I look down, except for I'm wearing like a bra. Like, I'm not wearing a t-shirt. I look down, and this fucking cockroach, this big, is on my bare skin. And I literally, I don't think I even screamed, I literally just threw my book on the bed and went, like one big, get the fuck off me. And then once I was off my bed, I started screaming and crying. But getting off of it, I was trying to be smooth. I was like, oh, this is not real. And uh, yeah, anyway, I swear I'm done talking about the cockroach. That shit just like really traumatized me. Bugs are like one of my biggest fear. So when you see a monster like that on your skin, like it has really changed my perspective on living in New York. Like I'm about to become a neat freak. Clean, like food does not enter anywhere like clean counters like nope i might have to move to la i don't know if i can do these cockroaches okay let's taste test this it's good honestly expected it to be stronger it was like pretty expensive but whatever Okay, keep reading. not as nice as I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of frizzy and I have no product here, so I don't know what we're gonna do about that. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay. Alright everyone, so I just did my little workout. and It's not really a workout. Just little exercises to keep me toned and ripe my mother would say no but like literally like two like 15 minute youtube videos basically is what i mean by that i don't know does that count as a workout you tell me it works for me now i'm sitting at this desk and i'm realizing i fucking love having a desk i forgot what it was like to have a desk i haven't had a desk for the last like month but even at our other place i didn't really use our desk because like I don't know why I didn't actually. I would use it at first and then I would sit at the dining table. But like that's the same thing basically. Anyway, I like working on a table. So I'm sitting with my computer here and I'm going to start doing some work. Let's check off some things I've done today. I was gonna do a reel with the Char Charlotte Tilbury stuff that I got but I realized I packed a lot of it up so I can't even do that right now so i'm gonna just cross that off i'm getting a pedicure at one with devin because my eye feet are disgusting dude like they're really bad i have so many fucking scabs and like peeling skin from like blisters because i've been wearing so many new shoes yeah i'm scared i feel bad for the, any, for the person who's gonna do my nails i mean my toes i'm scared but i'm going to la i'm gonna be on the beach i'm gonna be like i have a lot of open toe shoes and i'm probably will wear them in LA a lot so I just want my feet to look nice because for the last like couple weeks I've had like chipping blue nail polish on my two big toes which is like, not cute yeah so I'm gonna just do some emails right now and then do this dress TikTok I'll get ready to pre-upload YouTube video Instagram reel 
you know, day in the life. And I also need to go to the post office to drop off these two packages. I'm sending my mom my old AirPods. Um, I told her I sent them out yesterday, but I haven't, so I need to do that today. Yeah, then I'll leave the rest of the day to like hang out with my friends, you know, chill. But as long as I get that stuff done, then I'll be happy. So yeah. And then tomorrow morning I go back and I move and then I'm gonna try and get my nails done like I told you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna do some work right now. I just tried to pick it a bit, which is never a good idea. I'm telling you here, I'm sure you know. They have like magnified mirrors in here. And I can just see everything. I'm gonna wash my face, put a little bit of light makeup on, and then film my tickety talk. And then, what am I gonna do? It's still really early, so I'm making great time. This is the uh, face wash I use. I like it a lot. I think it's like pretty gentle. And I think I honestly like sl like slimmed down my um, skincare routine because I found that like I was using way too much product and I just like, at the end of the day, you just need like a good, this is like far away, sorry. Um, you need like a good moist, I mean good moisturizer, good face wash, and like you're good. You don't need like all this stuff, you know what I mean? I'm doing my makeup now. This Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish is such a game changer. It literally, it makes my face like matte and like so look so smooth, even though it's not. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Definitely my favorite new product. And then I'm gonna do blush. Honestly, I've been using this blush for like literally years. I have no idea if I'm ever gonna run out. I just feel like blush lasts a lifetime. I know this is in London. <laughs> um, I feel like I just like will never need another blush. You know, like how can you use that much blush? Unless you're putting it on like maybe like every day, but I say I put it on most days because I really like blush. I think it like brings so much color to my face. Except for this is too much. Now I don't know what to do. Hmm, probably fine. Just looks crazy in the camera. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do a little bit of eyeliner just because I am like doing content today. So maybe we'll do just like chill eyeliner. I don't know. It's so hot out, like I wouldn't walk around with this much makeup on, but I think I'm just gonna stay in here. Okay, I'm pretty much done my makeup. I added mascara and you can see like a red spot, red spot, but like whatever. Hopefully that'll fade, so I'm picking my face. But yeah, I added mascara and a little bit of lip liner. And now I'm just gonna start doing the tiki tiki talk. I'll show you guys some of the dresses. Okay, so these are pretty much all the dresses I'm going to put in TikTok slash reel. I got this one yesterday. I think it's really cute. I like the shade of orange. This one, which I got on Depop, like a little midi. The back is really cute. This one I thrifted in Canada little cute slippy this one is a little big on me it's vintage morgan but it's super cute denim this one from where is this from high rack super cute terry cloth brown little number good for the pool this one also from depop i love this one the stripey orange love this one from Brandy, it's inside out, but I love the silhouette of it. It's very cottage. And then this one, which I got in New York from this little boutique called Only Hearts. I think it's super pretty. I think it reminds me so much of Missoni. 
love. And then this one is also from Depop. I've never tried this one on, but it has this really cool print. It's kind of like a halter, I think. Yeah, so we'll see. And then I have one other one. This one, which is also from Only Hearths, which is like a baby doll dress. Super neat. There's like a lot of tears, but it's floral. Super cute. So yeah, those are the dresses. I'm with Dev. We've been to a couple stores. Show, show them your new uh, drip. So I got a D. Let me move this. I got a D pendant necklace. I got two bracelets. Really staple. Super cute. And I got an anklet, but they're sizing it. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> they're sizing it, so we don't have it yet. But we're walking to go get our petties. We're in Phi Dye right now. But it's on West Broadway. It's at Gloss Phi Dye. But yeah. It's hot as a motherfucker. I know. our toes done it was raining so my hair is all fucked up um i think i'm gonna shower again though honestly once i'm done filming this bit or should i shower now and then come back i feel as though that could be the vibe because i feel kind of sticky and gross i'll be back okay hi guys i just got out of the shower it's literally i don't know if you guys can see but it's it's like it's like storming, like stormy is here. I'm gonna be chilling in the hotel for the next <laughs> few hours, uh, but I wanted to show you what I got from Brandy. First being this little cute set. Um, it's like really cute. <laughs> I also met two of you guys in Brandy. Shout out to the really cute girl who was working at Brandy and also someone who came to our previous closet sale. So she was super sweet too. Anyway. Um, it has a little like cutouts and then the cute little shorts. I think this is just so great for summer. It's like very much pretties vibes. Um, and then I got a bunch of stuff. Honestly, I don't know how proud I am for getting this much, but it's fine. Honestly, I have some other stuff that I got like a week ago that I haven't showed you guys too. Let me try and find it all so I can show you guys all together. Hold on, there's a pair of shorts that I got. Ah, guys is much. Okay, there. So I got these shorts, super cute. They're like a oatmeal color. And again, they have lettuce trim and this little cutout eyelet, very cute. And then I got this top to go with it. Yeah, because I didn't have a matching top, so it's gonna be like a little set like this. It's a cute little tank top. It's like pretty much the same as this one, but just a different pattern. Just so cute, such a cute set. And it's pretty reasonably the price, that it's like $50 altogether, I feel. And I got these shorts, just good for sleeping in. Baby blue, cut off shorts. I got this tank top. I just like needed more basics. Just brown oatmeal tank top. I got these shorts, but they didn't have a matching top, but I liked them so much that I got them. These are 25 as well. I just have this little floral baby blue floral print going on. These ones are a little longer, which I like. I go, I got these black yoga pants, which are fire. I've been wanting black yoga pants forever. I remember last year when I was working at Brandy and like the Lululemon yoga pants like blew up, but I never actually pulled the trigger because I had pants that looked super similar. But now I have the comfort of black yoga pants. And then I picked up this baby tee because I really like the color red and I don't have enough red shirts right now. I got rid of a bunch and I liked this New York graphic. So yeah, cute. And then I just got a plain white tee because the one I have is a little stiffer than this. And I guess they came out with the same style in a different fabric. And I like this one and my other one has like stains. So yeah, I just need a new one. And finally, I got this mini skirt. It's pretty thick, it's like wool like this sh is not chevron oh no oh it's just water okay i thought it was a stain it's like tweed very much blair waldorf vibes black and white 
houndstooth that's the print and i think i might wear this tonight because i think we're gonna do something tonight again i don't really know what yet but i'm gonna watch the new episode of gossip girl that came out because the new season came out i'm super excited to see if it's gonna be any good so where's my laptop oh i hid it in here because i always get super paranoid when i'm staying at hotels that like someone's gonna fucking take my laptop even though like i don't know they definitely could get in trouble if they did but i'm clean the housekeeping came which is lovely i'm really debating taking the skittles out of the fridge but i feel like they're gonna charge me 30 dollars for a pack of skittles if i take them out of the fridge so uh, i don't know but if I'm, I'm like the type of person i like i need to eat something while i watch it i can't just like watch it i get bored so i need a snack even though i'm like not hungry whatsoever i just ate we ate at jack's wife one of my favorite restaurants lately especially in the summertime anyway i'm gonna get situated on the bed update you when i know what i'm doing for food hi vlog hi vlog we're in we're our we're in our hotel <laughs> We're in our hotel room. <laughs> We're in the hotel room. We're gonna go upstairs, check out the rooftop bar, which is like Mr. Purple. I don't know. I've heard good things, but like, I don't, I've never been, so I wanna check it out, get a drink maybe, and then we'll see. <laughs> Update you guys, maybe, maybe not. I how good does Ruby look? God, look how good Dev looks. Oh look God. how good we look. Yeah, that's the vibe. Peace out. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Um, I am packing up my bag right now i have to go back to lucy's apartment because i have movers coming in like an hour and i'm moving to my other apartment i'm super tired of any coffee last night was like not fun at all unfortunately but whatever <sighs> all right that's my update <laughs>